problem number 5 a cube of side 50 mm is resting on the ground on one of its faces with a vertical face in picture plane and the rest behind it the central plane is located 60 mm to the left of the center of the cube the station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane and 70 mm above the ground plane draw the perspective view of the solid so as usual we take a reference line we call it as picture plane given a cube 50 mm base side resting on the ground on one of its faces at the same time one vertical face is in picture plane so we we take 50 mm cube in such a way that one of its vertical face is touching the picture plane we take a 50 mm cube here is 50 mm so we draw the top view of the cube this is a square of base side 50 mm mm yes so we take 50 mm base side this is 50 mm we name this cube we start with a top point b points on the top surface a b c d then points on the bottom surface e f g h now we find the center of the cube cube is of base diameter cube is of base side 25 mm we take the with reference to this center the central plane is located 60 mm to the left of the center of the cube so we take 60 mm to the left side so 1 2 3 4 5 6 we take 60 mm and we make a plane we call this as a central plane the central plane is located at a distance of 60 mm to the left of the center of the cube so here is 60 mm on this central plane we have the station point 50 mm in front of the picture plane 70 mm above the ground plane so we take 50 mm 1 2 3 4 5 and we locate we give an arc arbitrary gap of 20 mm then we locate s dash again from this s dash we take 70 mm 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and finally we arrive this 
ground plane so the ground plane is re represented with a line gl gl afterwards we can find out the friend view of this friend view of the cube can be obtained so here is the top view similarly the front view can be obtained here is 50 mm the height of the cube 1 2 3 4 5 so we put 50 mm cube so we get this as the front view now we name the points as a dash then b dash then c dash within bracket because when you view from here b comes first c comes next similarly a first d next so we get d dash once again we get e dash and uh, h dash f dash and uh, g dash now with the station point s dash so this can be joined similarly this S dash can be joined here again F dash can be joined like this F dash can be joined join B dash C dash with S dash with the help of a ray then we get it again the corresponding top view points can be joined with S the top view of the station point right then we have this the C can be joined with the station point S yes. similarly D can be joined with the station point yes here is a touches the picture plane at this point so when we project here so therefore capital a comes here similarly when we project this e ray starts here so therefore capital e comes here in the same way when f is projected here f ray comes here again when b is projected here b comes here therefore we get b and f so we get this a b f e a true shape now for C, so we mark it as C1 and G1. So corresponding capital C and G can be obtained with the help of this line. So corresponding capital C and G comes somewhere here. This is C ray, so you get capital C. Again you get G ray then you get capital G similarly here is D1 so by projecting this on the rays for D and H you get capital D capital D and capital H 
can be obtained. So now we this distance is this distance is fifty mm, and uh, the other distance is seventy mm. So seventy mm is higher than the fifty mm. So therefore, the object height is less than the observer height. The complete top portion is visible. So we make it seventy here. Similarly, here this is in front of distance, which is given as fifty mm. Now in the final answer, we get A B. A B, which is a dark line, so dark line. Again, we get B C. B C is again a visible edge. B C is a visible edge. Once again, we join C D. C D is again a visible edge. C D is again a visible edge. Then we join once again D with A. D with A is again a visible edge. Again, H can be joined with D vertical line. Similarly, A E is a vertical line. Again, B F is a visible vertical line. Again, E F is a visible edge. E F is a visible edge. E F is a visible edge. We can join E H also. E F G H. And then the dotted lines are. H G is a dotted line. Again, F G. F G is a dotted line. G is a dotted line. So now we have the front view, A B C D, top portion, and the E of G H is the bottom portion. This is a square. The square base side is 50 mm. And the center of the cube is there. The left side, the center of the cube lies the central plane. So the left side distance is 60 mm, and the station point is located 50 mm in front of the picture plane. We give 20 mm arbitrary gap. Then this is 70 mm. That means the station point is 70 mm above the ground plane. So with the help of this, we locate the ground line. Again, by projecting this top view, we get front view. With the help of front view points, we just connect the rays with the respective front view. A dash and D dash is connected with S dash. B dash and C dash is connected with S dash with a ray. Similarly, E dash and H dash is connected with another ray. F dash and G dash is connected with one more ray. Again, S is connected with A and E. S is connected with B and F. S is connected with G and C. S is connected with D and H by rays. When we take the intersection of these rays on the picture plane, A and E lies on the picture plane. So we bring this to the respective A ray. We get capital A. Respective E ray, we get capital E. Similarly, these two points are also touching the picture plane. So when we project this, the respective B ray will give you capital B, and F ray will give you capital F. Again, when we take G C to S, it touches the picture plane at C one and G one. Therefore, when we project it vertically, 
it touches the C rate here and G rate here will correspondingly give capital C and capital G. Similarly, D H when we bring it to S, it touches the picture plane at D1 and H1. When we bring it down, we get capital D on the intersection of D ray and capital H on the intersection of the H ray. So as we know, the object is 50 mm and the observer is 70 mm. So we will be able to get, get the entire ABCD completely visible. So we join A, A, B and A, D. These are the extreme points and C also visible. So that for B, C, C, D completely visible. Here the extreme points are H and F. Anyway, we join H with E, again E with F. So these vertical edges F, B, A, E and H, D are visible. The vertical edge C, G is not visible. Therefore, we make it dotted. H G is not visible, therefore we make it dotted. G F is also not visible, therefore we make it dotted. So this is the final perspective view.